low movement mm -hmm. speed as well. Some of his nerfed level 1 spells is not the best. Treant doesn't offer too much. Very defensive. And level 1, level 2 living armor pretty... Yeah, and doing this as well also responds really nicely to the, the pull being blocked out. It totally doesn't matter. Mid lane, some aggression going both ways. Burning maybe in over his head here, Chuan. Well, he needs to tether out and some cooldown for a couple seconds. Possible first blood. Chuan goes down. The big, beefy treant punches him down. And that is an early kill there. Burning just went in too deep. And fighting into Leech Seed did not work in his favor there. Also, it's a lot of... This is just like a Chain Frost, Sonic Wave, Dead Sniper. And I think that's the plan here. They'll use all these ulties if it means a kill on Moo, considering how well Moo's farming. And Treant Living Armor is not going to save you against a Chain Frost, Sonic Wave. Is it going to beat this range creep? Is that the go? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Moot gets nuked down. There's your Chain Frost Sonic Wave. Is the burst damage there. They need a couple more right clicks. They just get him. Almost got the deny there, possibly on the tree. And now here comes your counter initiation. June goes in with the hook shot. Gets one for Rari. No blink for a couple of seconds, but he seems to be out of dodges. He'll uh, blink himself. Actually gets the rune on the way out. will blink himself back to his jungle and pick up the banner. Thing, but doesn't really use up too much of his mana pool considering he's got, got a wisp behind him. Able to heal him up when necessary. Relocate mid. They're going in. They want to kill Mu again. He turns around with an assassinate. But Ferrari going to be able to kill for your sniper with the help of the two of Wisp CK. But the counter kill coming in. Omni Slash. Not enough. The heals from Tuan with a magic stick. Burning survives on 10 HP. Rabbit chasing forward. Relocate back top. Where is your clockwork? Rocket Flare. Not there. Hook shot in. Tuan. He gets pulled in the cogs but doesn't get the cancel on the TP. Oh. Needed to push him out and didn't actually get the cancel unfortunately. Someone alone and assassinate. This is looking bad. In comes your Sonic Wave onto the Overgrowth is there. Can they get the kills? Chain Frost as well. That blows up one. It's going to be a second kill on your Tree Protector. No, counter kill from June gets the Wisp, but June hasn't really got a good escape plan off of this. He's going to be brought down by your Bristleback. A killing spree for your Clockwork, quickly ended by your Bristleback, and with a DD rune on your Queen of Pain, should be a T1 tower going IG's way. Forget last thing and just try to zone you out of the lane from the get go. Blue up bottom lane, he's going to get overgrowths here. Assassinate the fall. Here comes to relocate. Chain Frost bouncing around. Will stop bouncing. It looks like June's gone in, but into his own death here. Sonic Wave goes through, catches your tree. And he's still being scattered out by the sentry. Two for nothing and very little damage done. One of the IG heroes as they lose a third in your sniper. Chases on. They want Rabbit, but doesn't look like they'll find him. The relocate back mid from Chuan and Newbie just can't find anything. Yeah, that was an M. Yeah, I like the. Normally, I'm not a big fan of the the mech on Bristle, but I think because you have the Wisp on your team this game, it's pretty solid. Uh, jump top. They can't get the relocate out. Sanchenks found Tuan, locked him in place, or has he? Tuan tethers out. That's a relocate, but might not get a chance to use it. They're going to go with the Chain Frost. Burning still alive and pretty healthy. He gets a second kill, and Ranana. No mana for a nature's guy. He's going to be locked in place. It looks like he's going to go down. Burning saying, I'll just farm these Serpent Wards for now. Oh boy. Triple kill for your Chaos Knight. How did Burning even get the kill? The Illusions got the last hit while his hero was farming Serpent Wards. Up to 3.4k gold now. Oh boy. IG doing the same thing as last game. Just kind of snowballing out of control. That, that one was really served. Trying to take mm -hmm. a fight and then you relocate into your 5. So if you go for the Wisp plus 1, often they have no backup. Especially once you get this blink on Shadow Shaman, so you can prevent the relocate save, but a bit too close to the tower, I guess, was the big issue there, and also IG were just around farming their own jungle. Uh-oh, June, that's a hex. He walks into it, onto the high ground, and he'll be brought down by your Queen of Pain. Lua now, blink hex, but this is not a hero you can come close to killing if you're newbie. On the sidelines, there you relocate in, Sanchin gets annihilated, not even close to surviving that one. IG just taking what they want and giving nothing back. And I think normally you would say oh, X are gonna smoke up yep. three and you know like you were talking about earlier, this is actually five heroes from IG making their way through. Fine banana, I don't think they need to relocate just for your tree and protector. It's like uh, they'll let him go the overgrowth gets thrown out. No relocate coming in just yet. Sniper in the background just trying to do a bit of damage here or there as Ferrari gets a bit low. Wants to blink backwards, but Imagine IG just have their eyes on Roshan. Actually, a max duration. Playing the split push game is as best he can. And like you said, that's the hope for, for Newbie at the moment, that the jug just gets absolutely huge and can hang on to this game. That's an aggressive blink. Ferrari may have just fed away his own life. He relocates there, but he's going to die to the battery assault. Serpent wants to get dropped and move. 
pushed around. He's going to go down in your sniper, but can they retaliate here? Sancheng trapped in the trees will shackle Faith, but looks like IG may be coming out on top despite losing their Queen of Pain to start things off. The gem gets dropped on the ground. It's a fall for two. Buyback from your sniper wants to turn and take this fight. Burning low on HP. How good's your armor toggle? It's pretty damn good. Saves his life from assassinate. Tower not going to do enough damage as well, and it looks like the gem was recovered from your Lich. Bristle gets out as well. A 4 for 2 trait and a buyback on your Sniper. IG somehow salvaged things after a very aggressive Queen of Pain blink that got punished heavily by Newbie. Bottom tower is under multiple attack. sources of armor on the IG camp. Oh, that's an illusion. It's going to be Banana and said they go on. Gets out the overgrowth and Tron just went in that. He gets a viscerate to start things off. The Sonic Wave from Ferrari, not bad. They're going to lose a couple on the newbie side, but the Omni Slash on the burning. That's a dead Chaos Knight and Rabbit. Moving on to Faith. He's done a lot of damage here, but going to be forced back a bit. The Healing Ward now coming into play. Can they clear it off? It doesn't look like it. They blow up the Queen of Pain at the Aegis and Chase is on. Unfortunately, there's no hook shot still available, so going to be a bit of an even trade so far, but newbie, an even trade for them means they're gaining gold because that comeback mechanic starts kicking in and they get some big kills and kind of get a kill advantage too with the Aegis getting taken out of the play. Relocate in. Really nearly, but they are, they have got backup. Now the relocate's going to be supported by the Bristle back, but burning on the back line's getting pushed around by the Cogs. There's your overgrowth. He hasn't got a way out of this one. He's already popped the Manta style. Will expire, but now onto your, onto your Shadow Shaman. Down he goes. Chain Frost bouncing around just onto Creep. Two for nothing trade. Luo. Gonna clean up the Serpent Wards and it looks like burning back towards the top lane. Possibly should have left him mid lane for the push, but it looks like IG may be just backing off anyways with Ferrari. Popping off in the fight, it was just the Manta style going to work for him. And that, that's much more of the initiation that IG looking for. Hex on a relevant target. Oh, that's a yeah, good high ground it. Hex. Grab it, not even gonna get a spell off. Ferrari lured him in. He's gonna bring down June as well in the Clockwork and with this many on the sidelines, Jug and Sniper and Clockwork. No buyback on anyone except the Jug. Looks like Vernon gonna head mid. Phantasm and Manta Style ready to go. Scotty complete. And Chaos Dead Illusions got rid of it entirely. Yeah, uh, about that. Ferrari gets hexed up on the front lanes. Queen of Pain forced back. Can they keep Ferrari alive? The Shadow Blade not gonna be enough. The Omni Slash finishes them off, so not a bad hold so far from Newbie. Using that Jug on me as well, but now Rabbit getting slowed down. That Scotty slow brings him down into the top lane. We go. It's a dieback from your Jug. Dead tree and protect him. This is looking like the end for Newbie here in game there, right? two. Yeah, no Jug for 90 seconds. It's over. Yep, they're going for the throne, and it forces out a GG from June. IG with a 2-0 victory. Knocked Newbie out from the Summit 3 China. Brought to you by Gigabyte. That was just felt like a standard day at the office for IG. Yeah, I, I really don't feel like they broke a sweat at all, but uh, I, I don't want to feel like a, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I think a lot of it, again, just coming down to, to draft and newbie having to do weird things with their lanes to even have them yeah. be semi-passive.